Okay, hey, um, so a couple of people have been asking me um, how I'm making my Sega music, so hopefully this will just explain everything. Um, this is a Sega Model 2, and um, what I have it, well, it's modded basically here. This is the uh, audio jack out of it, it's just like a stereo eighth inch, <clears throat> just like you do a pro sound of your Game Boy. But um, that's the Crystal Clear Audio Mod by uh, Tito. And uh, you can find him on, uh, you know, the, the Sega APC forum or on Sprite's Mind. But if you just um, Google Crystal Clear Audio Mod, you know, his, a schematic will come up. Um, he actually soldered my PC before for me, and it's like some of the most insane soldering work I think I've seen in a while. Um, and then I just put, you know, like a video out jack on the side because this thing doesn't have like a RCA jack on the back, so that kind of comes in handy sometimes. And then also I added um, an up and a down button so I don't have to bring a controller with me because I always forget crap like a controller or a monitor. And also, yeah, I can use this without a monitor too. That's pretty much the good thing about it. So yeah, this is the, the, an up button that I put on here and then this is a down button basically. So, And what these will do for me is just like advance the song. And I'm using, basically to write the music I use TFM, which is Turbo Sound FM. Um, and that's by a guy named Shiru, and that you can also download for free on the internet. And then I'm also using this other program to take um, my VGM files and then compile them into just one, one singular ROM. And that uh, program is called VGM Play, and it's by Michael Stamper. Uh, Stamper? Stamper? Stamper. Um, anyway, so yeah, if uh, so I'll show you a little bit of uh, what I'm doing with the Sega stuff, and you'll hear a little bit of my new EP that's going to be all Sega music. Um, also, too, I'm playing keyboard a lot with it, um, which people know me for my guitar playing, but um, it sounds better with keyboard with this particular project because uh, I'm using a Yamaha DX100, which has a similar sound chip to um, what the uh, Sega Genesis has in here, basically, similar to the YN2612 that's in here. There's also another sound chip in here, but I wasn't able to use that, and I wasn't able to use samples at all, too. So everything that you're hearing coming out of here is from the uh, the Sega, basically, YM2612. So let me just play something for you. Oh, that's loud. Whatever. So yeah, that's the first track. And if I want to advance it, so I'm good to end, play some uh, keyboard with it. And if I want to advance the next song, all you have to do is hit this button. And I'm on the uh, next song. That's the other one, basically. Here's another one. And the song. So, yeah, so. I hear there's a USB card to, oh shit, <laughs> whatever, you can't kick this thing too much or else it's going to flip out. Um, I hear there's a, U this is an MD Pro too, how I got the, my music, the ROM actually on the cartridge is, there's a serial port programmer that I have to plug this into and then send my ROM onto it. But I do hear that there is now a USB cart that's out, so you would just plug a USB cable into the cartridge and then plug it into your uh, computer and then you could put your ROM on there. Um, I don't know. I don't know too many people that have been using them just yet, but I sort of hear they're good. I don't know. Um, I was talking to the guy about or maybe ordering one because it seems easier. But anyways, hopefully that clears some stuff up and maybe gives, uh, gives you guys an idea of... Uh, what I'll be doing in the future.